friends. I'm sorry there's a bit of a lapse because it just started. I uh, hopefully it will stop talking in <laughs> a few minutes. And I can Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, I am I'm right by a speaker, that's probably why. Hold on. On the beach in Wildwood, New Jersey, with Hunter Hayes, Maggie Rose, and Shot of Summer. General admission at a very limited time. We get behind something. <laughs> oh, he's funny. Well, hello, friends. This is uh, Jennifer Bingham Hart from jenniferbinghamhart.com, uh, coming to you live from Wildwood, New Jersey. Um, I'm talking to you today. Um, if you can hear me, please type in the comments. If you can't hear me, type in the comments because I clearly do not know um, if you can hear me, especially with all the commotion, so I apologize. But today's topic is uh, mindset and how it is always a changing game and it's always um, popping up. So if you have a foundation of working on your self-awareness and how you might feel about certain things and sometimes when you think about certain things say you're coasting along uh, you're feeling good in all your areas of your life your fitness your your health your romance your romantic partners your family your money you're doing you're like you're, you're okay you're not fabulous or maybe you are fabulous in one area or not and then all of a sudden something pops up and you're like, oh crap, I still have to work on stuff. That, things happen. And that's consistently like true in terms of you're a work in progress. You're going to be a work in progress for hopefully uh, the rest of your life. It's not going to be some, um, I'm going to hang on here. It's not going to be like, oh, one and done. Because that's not reality. You're always constantly growing. So part of that growth is recognizing when. Um, a mindset issue comes up where your confidence is kind of like mm, I'm not feeling 100% or I'm not feeling confident or I'm not feeling like um, what's a good example I'm trying to think of one today something for me popped up I was out to dinner with my family and um, some like issues of like self worth and also um, financial issues popped up for me um, and that is a rare a rare occurrence at times because I have a good mindset about abundance and such and um, it came out of nowhere really and I'm so sorry of all this noise everything's happening obviously to derail the scenario oh my god <laughs> <laughs> well, look, how about you see the most famous thing in Wildwood, the tram car. It's still annoying as ever, but it's, it'll get you around the three-mile boardwalk for no problem. So, mindset. It's a continuous process to growth, and my hope is for you to be able to recognize and become self-aware enough to know, okay, that's an area I didn't realize I needed to work on, because you got a hiccup. Um, emotional hiccup really because you don't necessarily want the manifestation of oh sh shoot a bill came in and you didn't really realize or um, a health condition popped up that you didn't weren't expecting or uh, a work situation or a romantic situation like if you're the more self-aware you are you can nip things in the bud before they become monstrous problems like um, especially in romance or money those are the two things most people kind of um, kind of ignore the problems so then they're not then they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger until you know financial crisis or a breakup happens or divorce happens or something like that so why not work on your mindset continuously because you are a work in progress and that is my message for today if something makes you feel upset or uncomfortable uh, check in with yourself oh you know in a safe space where you have some time to kind of think about um, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling in lack? Or why am I feeling like triggered? Because the word trigger has a various different meanings, but really is it is a pop of an emotional intensity where I'm feeling anxious or upset or sad or like feel less than. 
Um, and that happens in every area of, your, of people's lives. So just check in with yourself. And if you have questions about figuring that out, that's what therapists are for. Coaches can help you navigate um, with mindset. Like, how do you change the focus on uh, what is working? Because it really is about where you focus, you go. So today, with my um, mindset around my uh, dinner table stuff, um, I have to work on it. It popped up. So it's something I have to be like, okay, where do I feel lack and where can I change that in my mind? Be like, no, I'm really abundant in this area. Or I'm really feeling like, no, I, I can work on it. So that's my suggestion for you. I hope you are well. I hope you have a great weekend. Tomorrow is Father's Day and I will be on at 8 p.m. No matter where I am in the universe. Um, probably somewhere in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, wherever. <laughs> However the uh, things happen. So, again, Jennifer Bingham Hart from JenniferBinghamHart.com, company Mindset Coaching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. Look at Ironwood. Woo! Bye.